Hello and welcome, welcome to Upload. In this episode we'll be featuring cabaret, Christmas jumpers, film festival and Operation Christmas Child. The Year 11 Rugby Boys took part in a volleyball tournament that went on constantly from Friday 4pm until Saturday 4pm the next day, a whole 24 hours. Due to their hard work and commitment, Mr Mills rewarded the boys with a total of 17 Domino's pizzas. Our Year 9 reporters went to have a look. So what's the whole thing in April? Um, we are raising money for um, the rugby team to go uh, to Portugal on tour in 2015. Are you looking forward to do that? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. Oh. I think it'll be a good experience. So how long is it? Uh, the volleyball. Uh, 24 hours from 4 in the afternoon on Friday to 4 in the afternoon on Saturday. Do you think you'll be able to last the whole 24 hours? Uh, I think it'll be a bit of a struggle but I think we'll make it collectively. And last question, why why 24 hours of volleyball? Could you be at any other sport? Uh, well, we chose volleyball because we thought everyone can get involved with it, all different uh, like genders and uh, different abilities, so uh, just to get more people involved. Well, thank you very much. Operation Christmas Child runs every year to provide presents for those children less fortunate. This year we've had over 100 boxes, thanks for everyone involved. Welcome to a quick update about Operations Christmas Child. We have succeeded in making 150 of these bad boys. So people who participated in this school are Year 9, Year 10 and also Year 11, which is great. Some of the Year 10s attended the Interfilm Festival and met Jason Fleming, who is most famous for Harry Potter and Snatch. They got loads of selfies with him and the department is now featured in the Interfilm Festival website. Two thousand and fourteen is the centenary of the beginning of the First World War. Today we remember the soldiers who have fallen since nineteen fourteen. Here we are at Tower Hill, where thousands of people have visited the poppy display in order of Remembrance Day. This year, all staff have taken part in the charity single for children in need, "Don't Stop Me Now." There is a DVD available in Rupert Graphics for only two pounds, which features behind the scenes and bloopers. It was also produced by the media department. I'm having such a good time. students that took part in cabaret were lucky enough to visit Bremen in Germany. They performed their play three times to a live audience. Put down the knitting, the book and the broom. It's time for a holiday. Life is a cabaret, old chum. Come to and that's the right, guys. Do -do 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 -do. My fringe is getting long, isn't it? Your fringe is getting quite long, Harry, but that's not the only fringe we're talking about. We're talking about wooden fringe. I wonder how that's going. Close, close. We're just about to find out that. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to Wooden Fringe. Tonight, we're going to be talking about the wooden fringe. 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 Wooden People, James Smith came to a special effects makeup workshop. Let's take a look at what they got up to. Past student James Smith visited the media department to show students how to make severed prosthetic fingers. It was a great success and the students had lots of fun. Save the Children are running a Christmas jumper day on the 12th of December in order to raise money for their charity. Let's have a look at you in some of your Christmas jumpers. Hussie Bear visited Kimberley. Oh. 
On the 8th of December, 40 textile students went to the Clothes Show Live at the NEC, which is one of the biggest fashion events of the year, where students can get ideas and inspiration. Halfway through the day, we went into the Fashion Theatre to see a fantastic catwalk show hosted by Jamie Lang from Made in Chelsea, and also live music featuring the Stereo Kicks. At the Clothes Show, there are lots of things to do, including visiting the Fashion and Textiles University stands and more catwalk shows from college students. We had a thoroughly enjoyable day. This term included a wonderful chemistry at work event consisting of differing sessions and workshops run by local employers and organisations. Students were able to see how the chemistry studied at school is put into use in the real world. The Imperial War Museum is a unique museum which covers conflicts, especially those involving Britain and the Commonwealth. From the First World War to the present day, it encourages the study and understanding of the history of modern war and wartime experience. Now for question of the week. We asked you if you could name all of the reindeers. But how many reindeers can you name? Oh, 13. We've got <laughs> Dasher, Prancer, Rudolph, Comet, Vixen, Cupid, Dancer, Donna, Dancer Donna, Prancer, Vixen, Rudolph, Rudolph, Dasher, Vixen, Donut, Blitzen, Dancer, Prancer, Cupid, Comet. Prancer, Dancer, Comet, Rudolph, <laughs> Vixen, Dasher, and Prancer, oh, uh, and Comet. <laughs> Dasher, Prancer, Vixen, Blitzen, Blitzen, Vixen, Dixon, Donna, Prancer, Dancer, Blitzen, uh, Rudolph, Comet, Cupid, Donna, Dasher, Dancer, Prancer. Donna, yep. Rudolph, yep. Dasher, Basher, Lasher, Fasher, Tasha. Brian, Brian. Um, <laughs> Jeff, that well known reindeer. Right Frederick, <laughs> and Steve. Steve, yes. That's it for this time's episode. Thank you for watching. See ya. Thank you. And have a very